So it's important that when you conserve, it's a collaborated effort. And this is how the communities become a part mm -hmm. of the tourism and the conservation. The way the international community probably can best help is by um, helping to understand what you need to do to support your local communities. And I think going forward, it has to be some culmination of work between the community and the law enforcement, the state-led law enforcement agencies to continue to keep the illegal killing at bay. That the economy of this um, uh, 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 place is uh, predicated on tourism, which of course refers to the flora and fauna that we find here in abundance. We are striving hard to mitigate the adverse effects of human wildlife conflict to achieve human, what we call human wildlife a peaceful coexistence. Wildlife, it should not be from the side only from the side of tourism. When you conserve the forest, water should be there. There is no climate change, balancing the ecosystem and the biodiversity. The community-based natural resource management, you understand, is not talking tourism only. It's natural resource. It's all the resources that are there. It could be the forest, it could be the hills, it could be whatever that is out there, the flora that is out there. So it's not purely based on animals. That's why we're saying community-based natural, not just tourism or wildlife. So this is how broad it is.